The NHL's best player is hardly ever traded. They're the heart of the team, blending skill, leadership, and impact. Teams build around them, and losing them would shake things up. Plus, they bring in a lot of money through jersey sales and ticket sales. While big trades have happened before in the NHL, it's almost unheard of to trade the best player in the league. And that's exactly what Wayne Gretzky was. The nine years that Gretzky played in the NHL before he was traded, he was undoubtedly the best player in the league and the best player anyone had ever seen, consistently putting up 170 plus point seasons and absolutely dominating in the postseason, winning four Stanley Cups. There had never been another player like him. August 9th, 1988 is a day hockey fans will never forget. Because on this day, the greatest hockey player to ever play the game was traded to the Los Angeles Kings, going from a hockey powerhouse in Edmonton to a struggling market in Los Angeles. Tears were shed, fans were outraged, the world was shocked, and the league would never be the same again. What was thought to be an untouchable piece of the Edmonton Oilers dynasty was now off to America. More aftershocks in two countries today from what just might be the biggest sports trade of all time. The man behind it all was the Edmonton Oilers owner, Peter Pocklington, who after the trade received death threats and had every Edmontonian after him. But before Pocklington was seen as a villain to all 800,000 people of Edmonton, he was seen as a hero, as he was the man to bring a young Wayne Gretzky to Edmonton. In 1978, the Edmonton Oilers of the WHA bought 17-year-old phenom Wayne Gretzky and two other players from the Indianapolis Racers for $850,000. And the way that this happened is actually very interesting. The Indianapolis Racers owner Nelson Scalbania and the Oilers owner Peter Pocklington were together in a private jet. Scalbania gave Pocklington a chance to add a Canadian icon Gretzky, which would significantly bolster the Oilers' chances of getting out of the WHA and into the NHL. But there was a catch. The Gretzky sweepstakes would involve a game of backgammon. Pocklington agreed to the challenge and put up some of his artwork, while Scalbania put up Gretzky. Pocklington ended up winning that game, and Wayne Gretzky, Eddie Mio, and Peter Driscoll ended up in Edmonton Oilers uniforms the very next year. The next season, the Edmonton Oilers entered the NHL for the 1979-1980 season as one of the four World Hockey Association teams that joined the league. Gretzky was quick to become a star player as he scored 137 points in his rookie season, winning the Hart Memorial Trophy and the Lady Bing. Wayne Gretzky's time in Edmonton was all about his incredible hockey skill and the way he changed the city and the sport. From 1979 to 1988, when he played for the Oilers, Gretzky was on a whole nother level. He won four Stanley Cup championships, seven R. Ross trophies, along with eight Hart trophies. He made records that people still talk about today, and some claim to be unbreakable. If you're enjoying the video so far, please give it a like, it'll help me out a lot. And now back to the video. Gretzky holds the record for most points in a season with 215, most goals in a season with 92, most points of all time, most assists of all time, and the most goals of all time, as well as countless other records. But it wasn't just about numbers for Wayne. Gretzky brought a whole new way of playing, showing that working together and making smart plays could win games. Not only is he known as the greatest player of all time, he's known as one of the most respectful and courteous players of all time. He made Edmonton a real hockey city, making everyone proud and claiming Gretzky as their adopted son. He transcended being just a player for the Oilers, as he became a true hero for the city of Edmonton. His influence extended well beyond his performance on the ice, which is why the events that occurred on August 9th, 1988, were even more astonishing and unexpected. That I announce, and I guess more important, confirm that the Edmonton Oilers have agreed to trade Wayne Gretzky to Los Angeles. It's among the most vivid scenes in hockey history, and it didn't even happen on the ice. Wayne Gretzky, dabbing at his tears with a tissue, slumped over a mass of microphones. Reflecting on his time with the Oilers, Gretzky couldn't keep it together. In the few words that he was able to utter, he thanked Edmonton for the time he spent there, and he said that he was very disappointed that he had to leave. And that's all he could say before the tears overcame him.
But when Wayne Gretzky made the move to the LA Kings, the media couldn't get enough of it. The coverage was everywhere, showing how big a deal it was. Gretzky was getting his own TV show, commercials, brand deals, and even featured on the cover of Sports Illustrated with one of the biggest athletes in America. To make the moment more special for Gretzky, in his first game with the Kings, he scored on his first shift and first shot. Gretzky's immediate success on the ice made the Kings a national spectacle. Wherever the Kings played, whether it was at home or away, the crowds were packed. Every game was a sold out event just to see the greatest player in hockey. It was like Gretzky brought the excitement of hockey to a whole new level in Hollywood. Not only that, but even famous stars started showing up to their games, adding even more glamour to the mix, further promoting the sport. Gretzky's presence in LA truly turned the Kings into something more than just a hockey team. It was a nationwide phenomenon that brought together sports and entertainment in a way that had never been seen before. Along with the immense media presence, Gretzky, of course, brought success to LA. Despite never winning the Stanley Cup in Los Angeles, he led the team to the franchise's first ever Stanley Cup final in 1993, where they lost to the Montreal Canadiens. Even with the loss, Gretzky carried the Kings by putting up 40 points in 24 playoff games that year. The Great One put up 918 points in 539 games with the Kings, winning three Art Ross trophies and one Hart Memorial trophy. Although his eight-season tenure with the Kings wasn't quite as successful as his tenure with the Oilers, he did so much for the game of hockey, not only in California, but throughout the entire United States, still achieving great personal success. Wayne Gretzky's transition to the Los Angeles Kings in 1988 triggered a transformative era for hockey, propelling the league's expansion into non-traditional markets. The Great One's outstanding skills and charming personality transcended the sport, captivating audiences beyond its conventional boundaries. His presence attracted media attention and cultivated new fans. Because of Wayne, hockey was now known worldwide. His impact particularly affected the Western and Southern United States. Gretzky going to the LA Kings in the Western United States sparked a surge in youth hockey participation in non-traditional markets. Without Wayne, it's very uncertain whether or not NHL teams would exist in regions like California, Arizona, Nevada, and even the Florida and Midwest teams. His cultural influence solidified hockey's position in mainstream media as he played a crucial role in growing hockey and expanding it into new areas where it had never been before. Now more than ever, players are getting drafted out of places where little to no hockey was played 30 years ago. Take Austin Matthews for example. He was a kid who grew up in Arizona and played a sport that no one else played. Most of his friends played either football or baseball, but he stuck to the ice. Now he's one of the best players in the entire league. Gretzky's move went far beyond just a trade. It created a legacy that still impacts the NHL today. His influence can be seen in how the sport grew and how he inspired new talent to rise in new places. His journey shows how just one person's influence can truly make a big difference. While most trades just change a team, this trade changed the game.